first formula we have and that is about magnetic moment okay so what is magnetic moment magnetic moment see magnetic moment is the product of it is the product of polar strength times the magnetic length we have so this capital m is the magnetic moment we have magnetic moment this small m is the polar strength and this 2l is the magnetic length okay so it is the product of polar strength and magnetic length magnetic moment what is the si unit it is ampere meter square for polar strength what is the si unit ampere meter and the magnetic length meter is the si unit so this can also be written as joule per tesla and this can also be written as joule per tesla meter okay now so i hope this is clear so this is the first formula that you need to understand understood bolo second one we have seen and that is the if if two magnets having magnetic polar strength m1 and m2 are placed at d distance to so, agar two magnets having polar strength we have uh, m1 and m2 are placed at d distance apart then what will be the magnetic force between them so if we have this is the m1 and distance d is the distance between these two magnets we can say m1 and m2 and uh, the magnetic force we have the fb which is equal to we can write mu not by 4 pi the product of m1 and m2 divided by the distance d whole squared understood so this is the magnetic force we have so it is just like a coulomb's law and uh, newton's uh, newton's gravitational law theek hai na so ye ho gaya second one third formula that you need to understand and that is what is the magnetic field on the axial point and on the equator so magnetic field on the axial point and at the equator so equator pe magnetic field kya hogi and axial point pe magnetic field kya hogi wo ho bar magnet theek hai na so agar ek bar magnet hai जिसके पास वी हैव सपोज टू बी दिस इज स्मॉल एम एंड दिस इज माइनस एम स्मॉल एम इज द पोल स्ट्रेंथ फॉर नॉर्थ पोल एंड माइनस एम इज द पोल स्ट्रेंथ फॉर साउथ पोल सो इफ यू इफ यू जस्ट फाइंड आउट द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑन द एक्जियल पॉइंट दिस इज द एक्जियल पॉइंट राइट और द एक्जियल एक्सेस and this is the equatorial line so yahan se equatorial line pe agar dekhoge to kya hoga so see here so small m ki wajah se yahan par jo magnetic field hogi that will be away from it so this is uh, magnetic field due to small m and uh, minus m ki wajah se it will be towards it will be b due to minus m and uh, it will always be from south towards the north we can say right uh, so why because b due to minus m is lesser and b due to plus m is greater so it will it will always be 
towards this so this is b net direction for the axial one okay and uh, here if you see this is minus m this is plus m minus m indicates this is towards the magnetic field and this uh, plus m indicates away from it and if you just find out the resultant of it it will be always from north towards the south we can say so this is the b net for equatorial line so ab ye dono ke formulas you need to remember so dekho formulas yahan par likh raha hu main b due to axial is equal to we have mu naught by 4 pi 2 i of capital m d divided by d squared minus l squared whole to the power 2 d squared minus l squared whole to the power 2 and this is when d is comparable with the length of this magnet 2l is the length hai. okay na so aur hum jo d lete hain yahan se lete hain towards this point axial point okay so if if d is greater than greater than small l length of the magnet then we can say b axial we have and that is equal to mu not by 4 pi into 2 capital m divided by d cube so this is the formula that you need to understand okay so next one we have and that is uh, fourth formula so in this only uh, b equator ab equator ka formula kya ho jayega it will be mu naught by 4 pi only capital m divided by d square plus l square whole to the power 3 by 2 correct so if d is greater than greater than small l then what is the b equator it is mu naught by 4 pi capital m divided by d cube so i hope this is clear and from this two equations we can have and that is b at equator is equal to b at axial divided by 2 ha huh? so i hope this is clear to so, yahan se ye formula deduce ho jayega okay now, now after this we have seen the magnetic moment fourth one magnetic moment for a current carrying loop current carrying loop so if we have any current carrying loop which carries a current i supposed to be and uh, area is a then the magnetic moment is equal to if number of turns for this coil is n then it will be n i into a so magnetic moment this capital m is magnetic moment this n is the number of turns we have i is the current and a is the area of loop now area of loop if it is a circle then it will be pi r squared if it is what is called as a square it will be a squared if it is what is called as a rectangle a into b if it is triangle half base into height so likewise you have to understand and you have to put in the formula okay so fifth one we have and that is when a bar magnet of dipole moment capital m so when a bar magnet of dipole moment magnetic dipole moment capital m is placed inside the magnetic field b so if we have a external magnetic field and uh, that direction of external magnetic field is somewhere here 
and uh, the bar magnet is placed like this supposed to be this is plus m and this is minus m plus m will have the uh, magnetic force in the direction of uh, bar magnet and minus m will have the magnetic force in the direction opposite to the external magnetic field so as we can see these two forces equal magnitude opposite in direction so net force net force on the bar magnet will be zero then second one we have and that is torque on the bar magnet is mb sin theta and the last one we have and that is the potential energy of a bar magnet is minus m bar dot b bar and that is equal to minus of mb cosine of theta 2 minus cosine of theta 1 so i hope this is clear so these are the formula that you need to remember so this is the fifth formula then sixth one now so here now the elements of uh, bar magnet elements of uh, elements of magnetic field earth's magnetic field actually elements of earth's magnetic field so three elements are there that you need to understand first one is magnetic declination this is also called as angle of declination the second one we have magnetic dip this is also called as angle of dip and third one horizontal component of magnetic field this is bh so magnetic declination is the angle between uh, geographic meridian and uh, what is called as the magnetic meridian so first one it is the angle between geographic meridian and magnetic meridian if you consider this is the geographic meridian and this is the magnetic meridian then whatever angle made by this uh, that is called as uh, angle of declination okay so this is the geographic meridian and this is the magnetic meridian theek hai na then net magnetic field whatever the angle made by the net magnetic field this is the net magnetic field with respect to horizontal that is called as angle of dip and um, horizontal component of magnetic field so this is the second one and third one i am writing in one only so bh is equal to b cos theta and b vertical is equal to b sin theta so we can have b vertical p horizontal is equal to tan theta so vertical component of magnetic field divided by horizontal component of magnetic field is equal to tan of angle of decline uh, and angle of dip okay so this is what you need to understand okay then next one we have i think this is the sixth formula no yes seventh formula now seventh formula that you need to understand and that is if a material is placed in an external magnetic field if a material is placed in an external magnetic field external magnetic field b then magnetic intensity magnetic intensity h is equal to magnetic field divided by the mu not 
this h is magnetic intensity we have intensity this b is magnetic induction or magnetic field <coughs> and this mu not is the permeability of free space ठीक है ना सो इफ मटेरियल इज प्लेस इन एन एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड देन मैग्नेटिक इंटेंसिटी इज बी डिवाइडेड बाय म्यू नॉट वी हैव देन नेक्स्ट वन फार्मूला वी हैव इज मैग्नेटाइजेशन फॉर मैग्नेटाइजेशन मैग्नेटाइजेशन आई इज इक्वल टू ऑलवेज इक्वल टू वी हैव द the susceptibility magnetic susceptibility into the magnetic intensity so this is the magnetization i is the magnetization and that is equal to the magnetic susceptibility ability times the magnetic intensity so i hope this is clear and this magnetization can also be uh, defined as the magnetic moment per unit volume it is the magnetic moment per unit volume we have and the magnetic field inside the material is always equal to the mu not times h plus the magnetization h plus the magnetization therefore the magnetic field is equal to mu not times what is h over here h plus what is i over here uh, zeta times h we have so if you just take h common it will be b is equal to mu not times 1 plus zeta right into h now this can also be written as b is equal to mu not into mu r into h mu not into mu r into h so what is mu r over here relative permeability and that is 1 plus the magnetic susceptibility this is the relative permeability magnetic susceptibility ठीक है ना म्यू आर इज रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी परमिबिलिटी एंड जाई इज मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टिबिलिटी सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एंड द लास्ट वन दैट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर एंड दैट इज दिस मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टिबिलिटी इज पॉजिटिव पॉसिबल नेगेटिव पॉसिबल एंड जीरो आल्सो पॉसिबल नाउ पॉजिटिव इज देयर फॉर टेल मी paramagnetic material and you have to remember this yes how to remember tell me other one yes very good so this is paramagnetic p represent positive diamagnetic d represent difference and ferromagnetic is the rest up. 